Hello guys, it's old Scott Tucker Hillbilly. How you guys doing today? I'm going to make a little video I set on some lights, on some uh, home defense guns. Uh, these are on the cheap side, guys. I mean, I always try to do something. Uh, you can be on a budget. Uh, we all don't have an ungodly amount of money to drop on these things. A lot of times people might just have one firearm for how home protection which then I would suggest you getting a shotgun without a doubt uh, I'm right now using my Mossberg 88 which isn't I love it it's the same thing as the Mossberg 500 it's less than two hundred dollars brand new uh, this is the one my wife and uh, my grandson got me a couple years ago uh, I got it with a 28 inch barrel I went ahead and got me a 18 inch barrel for it uh, put a side saddle on it this is the shotgun right here and what I did to save money I got a rail off Amazon or some kind of rail. this is an old Glock light that I used to have for a Glock handgun it's the old Glock light you know and it's four pistols but I put a little pick rail on it and uh, believe it or not guys I know it might sound silly to you but I can turn it on and oops sorry but it will easily turn it on and off and uh, it's unloaded it works out great for a shotgun light I wanted the light for every uh, gun I got in the house that I might have in different spots of the house I got them secure but you know I've got them uh, RFD safes and crack you can grab one uh, the next one what I'm getting and if you can get an old light Todd the gun guy go check his channel he showed a beautiful Saint AR pistol with an old light on it and they make great lights I carry an old light but it's for my everyday carry this is a little SR1 bat baton I think it is I've had this for a couple years now my daughter gave it to me for my Christmas present it's a wicked little light I think a thousand lumen on the bright setting it's got the rechargeable battery in it it's got the little magnetic base that goes on the back on a USB port great little light I mean it's a great little light I don't try to shine it in the camera there's low there's that medium and there's high and then it's got a strobe too so it's cool it's a great light that's my everyday carry light I thought I lost it one time but I had a damn fit okay anyway Monstrum is the light I'm in question about I got off 704 tactical got it off Amazon I think the model number is F200 slash B I don't know if this will come up yeah, come on Scott get right here uh, about 20 four dollars or less something like that if you use his product code less than twenty dollars uh, as far as I can see right now it's a great light it's got a pressure switch in the back up on and off button or pressure switch pad I put it on a pistol my AR pistol I got a pressure pad right here and then I grab it I mean it's a good little light man I don't know if you can see this or not but it's oops sorry guys I'm I'm an idiot this you know but uh, it works great so far I haven't shot it yet but he had great luck out of his I watched him do it and he gave it pretty high marks for a budget friendly light by all means if you can afford an old light or something like that get one guys I'm not saying not get one of them if you can afford it if you can't afford it like I can't afford all them things get one of these I'll put one on my rifle my carbine same thing same setup got push button right here works great uh, took some little zip, zip ties, zip tied it to my rail up here. I'm tickled with it so far, guys. I really am. That way, uh, something goes bump in the night. I can at least put a little light on a subject here. Sometimes it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg when you don't have an arm and a leg to spend on it because I'm trying to spend everything I got for ammo. And y'all know how that's going. So, anyway, just thought I'd give you a heads up on these monster lights. It seemed like they work pretty good, but you can get a light if you don't what I'm getting at if you don't go to these uh, tactical classes run and gun crap which I'm all for that if you can do it that's cool I can't afford it I don't have the time uh, I do train at our gun range uh, but this light I've done it here to pitch darkness of our house and the normal standard size room uh, 12 or 20 something like that you know whatever rooms are it throws good light in the house for that 
and that's where I'm going to want it the best because I live in a city now so it's not pitch darkness if I go out in my yard but I will still use it for then also uh, I don't carry a weapon light on my handgun because I just got to this on my rifles and shotguns guys because I've always been a proponent I kind of like a light in my off hand you know where I've got my gun and to get the torch and yes it's hot where I can you know somehow shine a light and do that kind of crap whatever you know uh but all the other guys they've all that are smarter than me have said you need a light on your uh home defense weapon and i agree with them so uh that's what i got anyway it's it's a good budget friendly option guys check out the monster and stuff i don't i guess i know they're made in damn china but what the hell? Everything we get in China. Probably my shorts too. Probably made in China. We need to start making crap here, but we don't. Until we do, we do what we gotta do. Uh, give it an optional. If you can afford better, by all means get better if you can. If you can't, there are budget friendly options. And this Monstrum seems like pretty decent. Just like this uh, optic I got on here. I can remember, I think that's Fiat G, whatever it was called. I think I seen it on I Carry one. His channel had one and uh great optic for the money you know 80 90 bucks but it's a good optic for me uh i'm not gonna be a thousand five hundred six hundred yard shot guy you know 100 yards in mine amazingly for two legged varmints in my house on my property so that's you know 30 40 feet i'm good let's get it all right guys anyway god bless you oh head but it loves you Talk to you later. Have a good weekend and a good week coming up. Be careful, guys. And keep your powder dry. Bye-bye.